welcome back to Diana's channel. Now, my girl D still a little bit exhausted, jet lag. But she up and where is she? In the kitchen. And that's one of the main reasons why Dee wanted a bigger space for her for her own self traveling here alone. Now Dee is ex-military. She was one of the first persons, yes, born in Jamaica and has been a US citizen for many a US citizen for many moons. Now Dee was one of the first person who I did that one on one with back in April. Right? Remember the channel was launched on the 3rd of April and I had the interview with Dee the following Wednesday. So literally five months later, Dee has arrived again in Ghana. Dee, welcome. Talk to me subscribers. You're in the kitchen. You love the kitchen. What are going on here, son? Where are you pulled on? Because I noticed the cupboard well stocked. Dee just came in here yesterday evening you know, and Dee stuck out the place already. Talk to me, my girl. Good to have you back. You that? Well, <laughs> I'm happy to be back. It's raining a little. I'm a little bit jet lagged, and this is all me. No makeup, no filter. Yeah, they look good. Um, when I when I came here the last time, I saw that there were different things that I could do, and I love cooking, so I bought my own stuff. You know, to accentuate what's already here. I bought my Jamaican Kalaloo. Okay. I bought some Aki. Okay. Because um, you can't bring the live stuff back. So right. I bought the next best thing. I bought some Aki. Um, I got saltfish. I bought saltfish from Florida. <laughs> here in the, in the refrigerator. I bought um, curry powder. Because I will make some curry. Mm -hmm. I have tuna. Mm -hmm. um, I bought vanilla because I love my oats porridge. And... As soon as I got here yesterday, I went and bought some oats mm -hmm. for me to have, and I bought, um, I cooked some this morning. Mm -hmm. I even bought seasoning, different types of seasoning, large seasoning, oregano, thyme, mm -hmm. and garlic, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I bought some barbecue sauce that's back there, some pimento, the reason why... And I'm supposed to have some jerk seasoning somewhere. It's mm -hmm. probably still in my bag, but I bought some jerk seasoning with me because mm -hmm. I am going to cook jerk. Mm -hmm. um, Jamaica Johnny Cake, <laughs> dumpling mix. Mm -hmm. um, because again, you're traveling, so you know. Mm -hmm. And this is something I bought and I went into it last night because I just needed a snack. Mm -hmm. So. I bought water crackers. Go there, honey. So water crackers. Mm -hmm. I tie it up because I don't want anything to go into it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Dee, let me ask you something now. Mm -hmm. You just asked me off camera. Is what that? Cock soup. Pull up. We are going to make some fresh, fresh, fresh chicken soup. Love chicken soup. So, I bought cock soup. And I am going to introduce my Ghanaian friends mm -hmm. to taco. So, I bought soft taco. The, the kit um, that has all the seasoning and everything in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce them to some taco one day before I leave. Probably on Tuesday because in the States it's Taco Tuesday. Okay. So to do something different. Okay, the, the off camera is ask me if I'm not staying um, for dinner. What are you going to prepare? Because you know my dietary needs are already. What, right. what are you pulling out? So as soon as I got here last night, I went out to the market and I got some white fish. Okay. So I'm going to cook some white fish with a um, mixture of vegetable and some some rice. How are you going to prepare that white fish? You're going to curry it? Um, no. What are you going to do? No. What are you going to do? Probably just season it, you know. Grill? In the um, oven, fried? Pan, yeah, like pan seared probably. Okay, pan seared sounds good. You have any greens? You give me any some of the color there or the color is for your special Ghanaian friends? No, and the color is going to be done differently with the aki, I mean with the saltfish that I have. So what, what what do we have with the, with the um, pan seared white fish? Um, with white rice, but what else with that? I have some mixed vegetables. All right, we're good to go. So D, please tell my audience what has brought you back to Ghana within five months. Seven days you'll be staying here. What what are your plans? Interesting. Um, I didn't come back to be on vacation per se because I'm working 
Um, you know, my computer's already set up. I'm still, I'm still working as if I was at home in the States. Mm -hmm. I came back because I fell in love with the place. I fell in love with the people. Yes. And just, you know, wanted to come back and relax. Yes. You asked me earlier, what was my plans? What was I going to do? I'm just going to chill. It's seven days of chilling, awesome. meeting with friends, fellowshipping. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get to go into the schools the last time that I was here. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine, um, Omar Grant, he makes these games for children. Mm -hmm. And he gave me some of them, so I'm going to take them back into um, hopefully a high school, mm -hmm. you know, to see their reaction in playing these games. Mm -hmm. Omar is an entrepreneur from Jamaica, was in the army with me, and he's doing wonderful things. And when he found out I was coming back, he said, hey, take these games um, to, you know, share with the children. So I plan on doing that. That's one of the most special things, mm -hmm. you know, for me, wanted to have an interaction with the kids in school mm -hmm. because I've already done the vacation thing already seen mm -hmm. all the places that I wanted to see correct and that's important it's right. all about you now you said to me D uh, when I was on my way that you actually made an appointment with a tailor Taylor what, what's up with the tailor what's going on well I'm a clothes person I love 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 designs I love clothes and with me being so tall six feet yes um I wanted to get some Maxi dresses made, and, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of things. Ghanaian, Ghanaian, style, feel. Yeah. Okay. And I wanted some pajamas of all things made because mm -hmm. in the states I cannot find anything long enough to fit me. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get some made. So I said I'll just kill two birds with one stone. So when I got off the plane yesterday, I was supposed to go running today to the tailor, but. I got a little bit tired, mm -hmm. so we pushed it back for an extra day, so we're just going to do it tomorrow. Okay. And before I leave here, I'll have a whole lot of things made, because I did that the last time I was here. I realized um, that. I found a really, really nice, uh, two nice tailors, mm -hmm. and, you know, they're willing to work with me to get the stuff made, and in no time. Quality fabric, quality workmanship, and at an inexpensive price. Local by Ghanaians. Yes. Awesome. Supporting the locals. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Well, D, it's a pleasure. Thank you. I know you have to get busy in the kitchen um, and cook. Um, I look forward because when I came the last time, you know, after that one-on-one, -on -one, you know how to turn over, put down some beans and rice. And I love the beans. I enjoy that. So I'm just dying to wait for this. You have any last uh, you know give the little audience some little jewels about destination ghana because after all the you're back again you know within five months so just share to anybody out there that is thinking or you know it, can it be africa and can you visit destination ghana for the first time and just come and see Give me two little, drop two little line for me for close off. You can. Um, as I said in the, the first interview that we did, you know, Ghana is, Ghana is open to explore. These African countries are open to explore. It's not um, about, you know, looking for certain kinds of things. It's looking into the culture, looking into the people. They have pure hearts. They're kind. I didn't have an issue when I was here before, and I'm certainly not going to have an issue now. That was, you know, one of the reasons why I came back, because I love it. I also want to learn more about um, acquiring, whether it's land or buying a house here in the future. Mm -hmm. So the more I visit, the more I get to learn, and the more, the better it will be for me, you know, when it's time to purchase, because I do want to own a little mm -hmm. piece of the motherland awesome and and why not and d it's good to point out that on this second visit you're traveling solo and so again for the solo travelers it's a-okay to make yeah. destination ghana your own you know a couple of people asked me when i was coming oh you're coming here this time by yourself <laughs> because the last time i came with some friends yes and i said yeah i've traveled the world on the places that you would never imagine and i mm. went by myself um, because of the people that I met here, like yourself, <laughs> who live here by yourself, yes. you know, 
it, it's, it's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. the, com the house that I live in, it is so safe. Mm -hmm. I have a security guard. What am I, when I'm sleeping, he's out there. Awesome. You know? And it's a big house. And mm -hmm. I'm in this house by myself. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. um, they want to, the Ghanaians want to know you as much yes. as you want to know them. Mm -hmm. So it's all about culture. It's all about communication. And it's all about fun. Thank you so much, Dee. One last thing. Can you just um, show, show me the outside right here? Let me just give them a little view. Sure. The door that... Uh, Beautiful from, outside. Yes, from the kitchen. You know, it extends to outside. So, you know, we can open up. And as Jamaican say, get like a breeze. Like a cool breeze like when you cook. Jamaica. Oh, please. Oh, you know yeah. that, right? You know. The clothesline. And you know, your girl is a clothesline. You know, boy, I love put clothes, wash and put clothes on line. I'm sorry, that's the who I am. The smell when you put you it know? on the line. Of course. I'm sorry, my dear. I have to put the clothes on the line. And this is it. It's extremely spacious. Mm -hmm. Right? And guys, that's it. D, thank you. I appreciate. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. My girl, me touch a thousand now, you know. Thousand subscribers. Congratulations. Blessings. Medasi. God bless.